Get ready for the smackdown Get ready for the smackdown How you gonna react when you're put in the back mat? Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown Alright guys, uh... We move on to the next uh, battle for this. This one comes from me, uh, Ninja Battle in a sense. Uh, so hope you enjoy this, like this debate. We have Raven from Tekken versus the man without fear, Daredevil. Yeah, so we have Raven versus Daredevil. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. All right, so um, let, let's kick it off with Raven. All right, um, I don't care what <laughs> Namco says; it was just a coincidence that Raven looks like two characters Wesley Snipes has played: Simon Phoenix from Demolition Man and Blade. Uh, they say it's just coincidence. I I don't buy that. Uh, I think they used him for references. They say they just wanted a cool ninjutsu practitioner who happens to be black. Okay, whatever. That's just me. Anyway, um, we all saw that Raven first was introduced in Tekken 5. Um, they call him, he's also known as Dark, the Dark Talon of Death. Or Shadow Dancing Raven. That's what he was also known as. Um... Not much was really talked about with Raven in terms of his his backstory, but we did know the one thing his 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 um, everything including his his age, like really what his nationality was, uh, and you know were unknown. The only thing we did know was um, he was an international intelligence agent uh, and very considered very highly skilled and uh, kind of iron hearted, like he. Guy didn't, guy didn't really show any kind of emotion, you know, and he had that big cross, cross-shaped scar on his face, but we also knew that he was a practitioner of the art of ninjutsu, and he showcased his ninjutsu skills very well, um, but that's pretty much all that was known about him, uh, in the first game when he was introduced, uh, but we do know he was, he entered the Iron Fist tournament to find out who was responsible for the event who was funding it and things like that but besides that raven is a heck of a practitioner of the art of ninjutsu we've seen a lot of uh ninjutsu practitioners in various video games or comics and raven is one of them uh very skilled you can see he he learned the tools of the trade of ninjutsu very well um and pretty much he, he he carries that very well. You can see how he carries himself, that he, he knows he's good. Um, you don't really want to cross his paths. Uh, just let him do his job and so you don't get hurt. I mean, in a sense, I would even go on to say, the guy probably don't give a shit about too much of anything, really, uh, and not him hurting you. I mean, when you got the name, the what I just said, uh, the Dark Talon of Death, that's kind of kind of show. You didn't get that name just because you're you're you, you throw cookies and cream at people. Let's just put it like that. But he's a heck of a practitioner of the nin, of ninjutsu, and uh, he's a heck of a character too. So we move on to the, his combativeness, and everybody should know this character. He's probably he's my second favorite Marvel hero. I give you the man without fear. Daredevil, Matt Murdock. As you all know, the story of Matt Murdock grew up in Hell's Kitchen. He was bullied. His dad never wanted him to be a fighter like himself. Uh, unfortunately, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, or so to speak. Um, his eyes, he was blinded by toxic waste. And uh, unfortunately, what would look like he would, would took away his 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 eyesight, it also gave him something back in return, a radar sense, kind of like a bat. 
um, but also all his other senses are heightened to superhuman abilities, smell, taste, touch, you know, things like that. He is a human lie detector. He can tell if you are lying or not. Um, he is one of the closest friends of Spider-Man in the superhuman community. Superhuman uh, community. He is also a practitioner of ninjutsu in a sense. He was trained by uh, the man known as Stick, who was blind himself. Uh, he was the leader of the ninja group known as the Shanti. Um, and uh, as with Raven, his um, Raven's tools of the trade are traditional ninjutsu weapons, shurikens, things like that. With with Matt, he carries the classic billy club, which can extend and can be launched and used as a means of traveling around the city. Um, Matt has gone up against people that are, you can say, are quite stronger than him. People like Tombstone, uh, the Kingpin, but he's always seemed to come find a way to win. He's always seemed to be almost like a couple of steps ahead of him sometimes. You know, he's a very good fighter. Um, good lawyer. He knows the law very well. Uh, Matt is probably one of Marvel's greats in my opinion. Nothing more needs to be said about him. You all know his story, his powers. You name it. That's Matt for you. The man without fear. Daredevil. So we move on to this com uh, uh, the battle breakdown. Now this would be kind of interesting because I've actually kind of teased out a scenario of how you know this could happen like as we all know as you as i said you know raven is a intelligence agent that happens to practice ninjutsu uh what if somebody hired raven to spy on matt matt finds out confronts him battle shoes so and there and there you go that's how i look at the battle happening um Honestly, this would be uh, a battle of not just skill, but strategic fighting prowess as well. Um, who's got? Who's better trained? Who's who's uh, gonna make the first mistake? You know, uh, can Matt? Would Matt be able to read Raven very easily? Could Raven do the same? Who's willing to? fight a little dirty, you know, come on, you know, sometimes fighting dirty may happen, you know, who's willing to take the initiative to be, have the upper hand, you know, all those factors you, you wrap into this fight or this debate in a sense, but honestly, it, it'd be a very close fight in my opinion, but I still, I will say, I will say Matt would come out the victor not unscathed, but he'll have he'll have some bruises and maybe some maybe a dislocated arm or shoulder. But uh, I think Matt would come out the victor. Um, he will be maybe able to read Raven, um, even though Raven is very fast. But I think he once he figures out Raven's pattern, he'll be able to read him and use that to his advantage. Um, that's just me. I look maybe, you know, I say Matt wins this. That's just me. But what do you guys think? Raven from the Tech End series? Or Daredevil from Marvel Comics? And I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Um, move on to the last uh, s scheduled fight for Section 19, which has a character from Baki the Grappler versus another Tech End character. And this is by Doc Daniel. I uh, will see you then. You guys know the slogan. Battle on.